Mom, say what time should be home yet? Anna. Huh? Did Mom call? No. Do you need some help with this? Help with what? This. Uh, it's a bit late for that now, Jess. Well, I can see that. Do you need help with anything? When's Dad coming home? I don't know, Anna. It can be a long time. He's pretty sick. He hasn't even seen the house yet since he moved to L.A. Is he going to die? Hey, Anna, no, he's not going to die. How do you know that, Jess? Can we not talk about this? Why not? Let's face the facts. All I know of my dad is some guy that sits in a hospital bed, hooked up to an oxygen tank for the last six years. You know, it's not easy for me either. Really? You seem to be moving on pretty well. And at least you got to do things with him before he got sick. He got to see you play soccer, your swim meets, cheerleading. He wasn't even there to see me when I rolled my first bike. You were. I think Dad is the bravest guy for going down to Ground Zero to help clean up. But I just feel cheated that because of that... <laughs> I didn't get to have the same father that you did. Anna... I'm so scared, Jess. I know what you're going through, and I have my own thoughts about what may happen, but... It doesn't change the fact that Dad is who he is because he did what he felt was right in his heart. I know it's hard, but every day we're going to have to try and move forward. Even when he's here and when he's gone, he wouldn't want it any other way. It's what he would want.